right, hello, hello everyone. We are gonna be moving into our next lesson um, in our next area of our catch curriculum, health curriculum, and it is gonna be titled Hooray for Health. The next section is Hooray for Health. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here for you so that we can get started. And once we have that going, we will begin. So here we go. All right. So lesson one of this section is going to be go foods and go activities. We mentioned it a little bit earlier on in our first section of the health lessons and curriculum, but we are now going to kind of go really in depth and go a lot more detailed and talk about go foods and go activities, which are good for us. Go activities and go foods. So here we go. All right. So remember, we are gonna have a little story discussion. Uh, Gus Goodfood and Jeff and Jackie are gonna rejoin us here. And then we are going to do some practice on identifying go foods and go activities. And then hopefully at the end, we'll have time for a little cheer. All right, so here we go. All right, so our objective for this lesson that you will be able to um, understand and be introduced to our new Hooray for Health program. This is the second part of the program that we are going to talk about. Uh, we're going to identify heavy, healthy eating and physical activity as an important health behavior um, for all of us. Uh, we're going to decide between or distinguish between go foods and low foods, okay? And we are going to oops, identify go activities as well. Okay, so we're going to identify go foods and we are going to identify go activities. So hooray for health is a continuation of what we learned in the first section, jump into health. So, and that is good health um, is very important to all of us because bad health leads to uh, hospital visits or doctor visits to medication, stuff like that, that we won't, don't want to have when we get older. Okay, so we're going to continue to learn about being healthy and how to keep ourselves healthy as we get older um, and into our adult years um, as we move on in life. All right, so how do you feel when you are healthy? Okay, so think about when you are feeling healthy, what do you feel? You probably feel strong. You probably feel much happier. You probably have a lot of energy and you're probably able to play for a long time, go out and play in the yard. You may be able to play in, you know, around the house, um, go play with friends um, and you don't feel sick, correct? All right, so what happens when you don't feel healthy, when kids don't feel healthy, okay? When you are not healthy, okay? It's pretty much the opposite of when you do feel healthy. You can't go out and play. You're stuck maybe in bed. You feel really sick. Maybe you have to throw up or you're coughing or sneezing and you don't have a lot of energy. Your body's just kind of worn down. So why do you think we should celebrate our health? And why do you think we should be taking the time to do this and make sure that we do have healthy behaviors? And it's because it's so important for us to be healthy so that we are able to do the fun things that we want to do. We want to be able to do the activities and the games and the movements outside or inside or with our friends. We don't want to be stuck in bed sleeping or having a fever or having to go to the doctor's office because it's just no fun. Okay, being healthy is much, so much more fun than be, not being healthy. And that's why it's a good idea for us to learn how to be healthy now so that when we get older, we continue to be healthier and stay healthy for as long as we can live. Okay. That is why we are going to continue with the hooray for health section of our program of our catch curriculum. And you're going to find out some ways to be healthy. And we're going to start right now. All right. So we are going to start with a story on go foods and go activities. Remember our two characters from the first section and in jump into health and Gus Goodfood and Jumpin' Jackie, and they are going to help us out with the story. Okay, so I'm gonna read the story. I'm also gonna have it up on my screen so that you should be able to see it. You can follow along, or you can read it on your own as we go. All right, so go foods and go activities. 
but I'm going to get my little pointer out so that you can see. Oh, uh, maybe I don't have it. Oh, I thought I did. Okay, never mind. All right, so here we go. One day after school, Gus Goodfood and Jumping Jackie went to visit their friends Jojo and Mojo. Jojo and Mojo were twin brothers who lived on the same street. Jojo was in the kitchen with his mom. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Gus, he said. Look at all the great go foods we just bought at the grocery store. He pointed at the kitchen table. Gus Goodfood and Jumpin' Jackie saw packages of corn tortillas, brown rice, pinto beans, and whole wheat bread. There were also carrots and cucumbers and lettuce and peaches and pears and a big watermelon. Jojo was putting eggs and low fat string cheese in the refrigerator. Jojo's mom asked, would you like some low fat yogurt with fresh strawberries and blueberries? Sure, said Gus Goodfood, Jumpin' Jackie and Jojo all at the same time. Jojo's mom said, Jojo, please tell your brother to come join, uh, come join you for the snack. He's in the room doing sit-ups and jump, jumping jacks. Jojo said, I'll tell him to come, but he'll say no thanks. That's because he doesn't like go foods. When Momo came into the kitchen, he said hi to us good food and jump Jackie. Then he told his mom, I'd rather have some cookies or maybe some chips. The twins mom said, Momo, you know those are whoa foods and it's best to eat them only once in a while. The four kids ate the low-fat yogurt with the fresh fruit. Although Momo ate just a little bit, then Momo said, let's go outside and run races. Running is a great go activity, and I love to do go activities. Jojo said, I don't like running. Let's go watch TV instead or we can play my new video game. The twins mom said, Jojo, you haven't done any go activities today. And you know that doing go activities is just as important as eating go foods. The four kids went to the backyard and they ran races. Although Jojo said that he wasn't playing, wasn't having any much fun. Later, Gus Goodfood and Jumpin' Jackie were walking home. Gus said, it's good that Momo likes to do go activities, but to be the healthiest he can be, he should eat more go foods. Jumpin' Jackie said, yeah, and it's great that Jojo likes go foods so much, but his mom was right. If you want to be healthy, doing go activities is just as important as eating go foods. Gus Goodfood said, I'm glad we, were, we, we like go foods and go activities. Me too, said Jumpin' Jackie. Let's race to the front door. And the two Planet Strongheart kids took off running. All right. So if you remember back to the story, what were the go foods in JoJo's kitchen? Do you remember the go foods that were in JoJo's kitchen? Remember they were corn tortillas, brown rice, pinto beans, whole wheat crackers, cucumbers, lettuce, strawberries, blueberries, peaches, pears, watermelon, eggs, low-fat yogurt, and low-fat string cheese. Those are all go foods, okay? Those are good. Now, almost all fruits and vegetables and beans are go foods. Most foods made with whole wheat flour are go foods as well. Baked fish and baked chicken without the skin are also go foods as well. And you probably say, well, why wouldn't you eat the skin? Well, the skin is actually where the unhealthiest part of the chicken is. Even though it's the tastiest, it's actually the most unhealthy part of the chicken. Okay? So what were the, uh, oops, what were the woe foods that Momo wanted to eat? Do you remember? Cookies and chips. Okay, those are woe foods. Those are things we don't want to have all the time. Every so often, it's okay to have a little bit here and there. Okay? So here are some other woe foods that we might not think about that are woe foods. They taste really good, but we have to be really careful on how much we use uh, eat them. Ice cream, cake, pies, candy, soft drinks or soda, okay? Or you might call it soda pop. 
okay? All of those foods that are fried, okay? Those are woe foods too. Good to eat every so often, but not to eat all the time. Woe foods are bad foods, but it's just best that we eat them just every so often, every once in a while, okay? So to be healthy, which kind of food should you eat more, okay? Go foods, remember, fruits, vegetables, beans, whole wheat, um, breads, low-fat yogurts, low-fat string, cheese, stuff like that. Those are the go foods that we want to have. Okay. Sorry. Oops. There we go. There we go. So we learned in the first section in the jump into health um, part of our curriculum that about go activities. Okay. So we're going to review that right now. When you do a physical activity, you move your body. So you're physically moving your body around. We do it in class each week when we see each other on our Zoom calls, okay? But not all physical activities are go activities, okay? When you do a go activity, your heart beats faster and you breathe faster. So very similar to a lot of the workouts and exercises that we're doing in class when we see each other, those are the real go activities. Go activities are the best kind for making your heart, your lungs, and all the muscles in our body work together to be stronger. And when your heart, lungs, and muscles all are stronger, you can run faster, learn better, and play longer. So which go activities were mentioned in the story? Do you remember any of the activities that they did that would, be, that would increase our heart rate, that would increase our breathing, make our lungs breathe harder, maybe making our muscles get stronger? Oops, sorry. Remember uh, Momo was in doing sit-ups and jumping jacks? and then they started running races at the end. Okay, those are all activities that are go activities because they increase our heart rate. They get our muscles working really hard. Did Jojo like to do go activities? Remember, Jojo didn't like to do go, go, go activities. He wanted to play video games and all, and all of the stuff, watch TV. What would Jojo rather do? Watch TV or play the video games? I'm sorry, what would Jojo rather do? Play, watch TV and play video games or go out and play? Remember, he liked to watch, like I just said, the TV and the, play the video games. And those are not go activities, okay? They don't really get our heart pumping, okay? We don't, our muscles are really not moving that, uh, working that hard. And we're not really getting our lungs breathing harder unless we're running in place or doing jumping jacks while we're watching TV or playing our video games. Okay, so that can get a little tricky. Oops, I forgot to click through there. So do you think that sitting down activities make your heart and lungs and muscles stronger? So imagine right now, me sitting in this chair, do you think that I am, even though my body is moving, my head is turning a little bit and my hands are moving, do you think it's called, really considered a go activity for me to be sitting here in this chair right now as I'm teaching this lesson? And no, it's not. Okay, it's okay to do sit down activities. I could do arm circles, okay? And these are great, these are great movements for my body, good flexibility, okay? But they're not gonna be considered actual go activities because they're not gonna get your heart moving, get your lungs pumping, okay? Or get your heart pumping, get your lungs uh, breathing harder. So we gotta be really careful when we do this. So think about the end of the story. What were the two things that Gus Goodfood and Jumpin' Jackie said they really liked? There were two things. Okay, remember, go foods and go activities. What should you do every day to be healthy? Okay, think about what Jumpin' Jackie and Gus Goodfood said in their, at the end of their story. You should be doing go activities and eating mostly go foods, okay? Go foods and doing go activities every day will help you to be healthier and stronger, and it'll help you to learn better and play longer as you get older, okay? So now we're going to play a game called Which Ones Are Go? So just like the stoplight, we have our go foods, okay? 
We have our slow foods, the ones like, eh, okay, maybe sometimes. And then our woe foods, the ones we have to be really careful. We can have a little bit every so often, but we don't want to be eating them all the time. Our slow foods, we can have a couple more times maybe during a week, but we don't want to consume them all the time. We want to be mostly up here in the green light. Okay, so we're going to use what we've learned and we're going to go um, into what, looking at some pictures and you're going to decide whether or not you think it's a go food or, or activity um, and then you're going to do a movement when that happens. So when you look at the picture, okay, if you think it is a go food or a go activity, the things that we want, you're going to jump up and down, okay, you're going to jump up and down. If you think the picture is of something that is a whoa food or a whoa activity, then you're just going to walk in place. You're just going to walk in place and just move your arms, walking in place, just like we do in class. Okay. But if you think it's a go food, you're going to get excited and jump up and down. Okay. Jump up and down. If you can, if you don't have space to, then you can just use your arms to go like this. Okay. So here we go. Is this a go activity? No, this is not. Watching TV or playing video games is not. All right, here we go. Is this a go food? Is this a go food? Yes. Yes, it is. It's an apple. It's a fruit. All right. Next one. Is this a go activity? And if you're not sure what the picture is, it is a picture of someone swimming. Is it a go activity? Yes. Yes, it is. It's a go activity. You should be jumping up and down. Is this a go food? Plain 1% milk. Tricky one. Yes, this is. You should be jumping up and down. Good. Good. All right. Is this a go food? Cookies. This one you should be walking in place. This is not. That is a that is a woe food. Okay. Is this a go activity? Playing a game of, and I don't know the name of that game, but it looks like we'll call it a board game. Is this a go activity? And you should be walking in place right now because this is not a go activity. This is a whoa activity. We're sitting and not really moving our bodies physically. The next one, is this a go food? And this is a picture of broccoli. Picture of broccoli. Is it a go food? Yes. Yes, it is. Good job. Good. Is this a go activity? Looks, oh, we got jumping, jumping rope. So is this a go activity? Does this get our heart pumping and our lungs breathing harder? Yes, yes, it is. It is a go activity. French fries with ketchup and mustard, or you don't have to have ketchup and mustard, but French fries. This one, you should be walking in place, walking in place. This is a woe food, woe food. We don't want to have all the, we don't want to have French fries all the time. Is it a go activity? Is this one a go activity? And this would be running or we'll say running, leaping, jogging, sprinting. Yes, yes, this is a go activity. This is a go activity. And the last one, is this a go food or a go drink? Go food, go drink. We got cola or a soft drink, soda, however you say it. I say soda, some people call it cola or soda pop or soft drink. No, you should be walking. You should be walking right now. This is a woe food. All right, good job. Okay, so we're going to review some of the main points that we talked about today. Awesome job today. So in our Hooray for Health program, you know, we play some games, we hear some stories, we move our bodies a little bit when we look at some of our pictures. In the next lesson, we're going to learn more about healthier foods. Okay, so 
what are two things that you learned that you can do to be healthy every day? What should you be doing? And your two answers should be eat mostly go foods and do go activities, okay? Activities that get your heart pumping faster, get your lungs breathing harder, maybe makes you break out of sweat a little bit, just like we do in class, okay? Those are the things we wanna do every day when we can. Incur um, imagine that Jumpin' Jackie and Gus Goodfood are in our classroom and they wanna hear which go activities and go foods that you're gonna try over the next couple of days, okay? I want you to think about some things that you could try over the next couple of days. Maybe jog in place more, maybe do some jumping jacks, maybe do more push-ups, maybe go for a walk with a family member, okay? Think about some things, okay? So since the program is called Hooray for Health, what we're gonna do to finish is we're gonna do a cheer, okay? Now there's normally, there's always this, this kind of general cheer of hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. So we have that that we kind of use all the time, but we're gonna change it to end each lesson. And we're gonna change it to say, health, health, hooray. And we're gonna say, health, health, hooray. And the third time, health, health, hooray. Okay, so let's do it together. Here we go. Let's end it with a health, health, hooray. Health, health, hooray. And then one big good one, last one to end it. Health, health, hooray. All right, awesome job. Good job, everyone. We have reached the end of our lesson. Please do not forget to complete your exit ticket. The exit ticket is my way of knowing that you have watched the video and so the questions that are in the, the exit ticket, the answers are in this video. So if you were paying attention closely, you should have all the answers that you need. If you have to go back and watch a part of the video to find an answer, that is okay too. But don't forget to do the exit ticket because that's where you're gonna earn your points for your work outside of class. Have a great week. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.